This video on parasitic acid safety is intended to be a supplement to, not a replacement for, training provided by your company. Always follow your company's established safety procedures. PAA is a very strong oxidizer. It is not a typical product and needs to be treated with care and respect. When working with PAA, it is critical to ensure compatibility with all materials in use. For safe and trouble-free use, Envirotech recommends the use of materials such as PTFE 316 stainless steel, PVDF, HDPE, and CalRes. The Envirotech.com website has in-depth information on this and a number of other practical topics. To access a report on the relative compatibility of many piping materials and elastomers for use in PA service, go to the Resources section, PAA Basics, and find the report titled Parasitic Acid Material Compatibility. It is important to understand that using materials incompatible with PA can cause serious risk. For example, when PA comes into contact with soft metals such as brass, copper, or zinc, the PA immediately begins to dissolve the metal. At the same time, the PA starts breaking down, heating up, and producing steam. In a closed container, venting systems may not be able to handle this excess gas formation and the container may appear to start swelling. Metal contamination accounts for 95% of all PA decomposition in the field. If a decomposition reaction occurs, the best course of action is to dilute the product with cold water. One way to monitor the product is to equip storage tank with temperature sensors to provide early warning of any potentially hazardous scenarios. A sudden rise in temperature could indicate decomposition. When dealing with concentrated chemicals, there should be an unobstructed pathway to a nearby safety shower and eye wash station that is checked on a regular basis, preferably before performing any chemical unloading. Proper personal protective equipment is also required when dealing with industrial chemicals. When pumping parasitic acid, Envirotech recommends a minimum of chemical resistant boots, aprons, shoulder length gloves, goggles, and a face shield. The transfer of totes from a dedicated bolt container should only be performed by approved personnel. Once properly dressed, the steps are as follows. First, verify that the line being used is dedicated for parasitic acid. Next, remove the lockout mechanism. One cam lever should be released at a time to free the line of excess pressure that may have accumulated. Once the cam fitting has been secured to the inlet, the cam lever should be secured by one of two methods. Either a Velcro wrap can be used, or zip ties. If using zip tie secures, secure the cam levers themselves rather than the attached key rings. This is a secondary precaution to aid in the prevention of accidental cam release or tampering. If the product is being transferred from a bowl container such as a tote, the first step is to vent the top of the tote to prevent collapse due to vacuum. Make sure the opening remains covered though and that nothing falls in. The attachment of the hose is then the same as previously demonstrated. Once the contents of the container has been transferred, 
The hose should be removed by releasing one of the cam levers at a time in case any pressure is built up in the line. Don't forget to recap the vent on top. Personal protective equipment is intended to protect against small incidences like this. When exposed to a larger volume though, it is important that the worker immediately ceases what they are doing and head directly to the safety shower and eye wash station. All PPE and clothing will need to be removed. The worker will need to wash under the safety shower for a minimum of 15 to 45 minutes or as stated on section 4 of any safety data sheet. If present, a coworker should assist with the removal of the contaminated clothing. Never pull contaminated clothing over a worker's head. When using the eye wash, it is important that the eyes are held open with uncontaminated hands and rinse for a minimum of 15 minutes. If a respirator is needed, it is recommended to either use a half or full face respirator with organic vapor cartridges. <laughs> Safety data sheets for all Envirotex products can be found on the website and should be reviewed before handling the products. Safety data sheets should also be kept on hand near where the chemicals are stored for reference. In order to maintain the guaranteed one year shelf life, PA containers should be stored in warehouse conditions below 86 degrees Fahrenheit. While this may not always be possible, it is imperative that the bulk liquid does not exceed temperatures of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Furthermore, it is recommended that PA products be stored indoors and out of direct sunlight to prevent premature degradation.